One thing you'll notice most about Charleston is this skyline. It's very low. The houses peek up through the trees. It still has that old world charm. Some people don't know that the Civil War started here in Charleston. People would just sit out there on the tops of the roofs and watch this battle. When it comes to food, my mom was a phenomenal cook. She gave me the base ground I needed to just spring forward as a chef. The best part about coming to work is the neighborhood I get to come to work in. We're just nestled off the beaten path. People come to Cirque 18 to be wowed out by ingredients and flavors and some history all woven together perfectly. It's just pan-seared halibut with boiled peanuts, which are really big in the South. We end up stewing them all day long. They take several hours to cook. We serve that with pea tendrils, oranges, lemons, limes, and grapefruit, and a little bit of baked ricotta. They help to make the dish truly well-rounded. Charleston has been a huge port for several hundred years. So many different flavors that came through here from the West Indies, Caribbean, Africa, Europe, all of those things become one major melting pot here in America. There's a plethora of great dining, great shops. The people here are great, just have a sort of carefree, easygoing spirit. You can stop and talk to just about anybody on the street. It's just a really nice, tight-knit town. As the sun sets on Charleston and it's beaming off the water, you can see all the shrimp boats coming in. It's just a beautiful, beautiful setting. You know, on my days off, I like to come to the beach. You can go surf, you can go kayaking nearby, and take the family out here. It's just a whole lot of outdoor activity. Luscious, one of the best words I could say to describe this city and its culinary history. We here in Charleston truly love life.